What happens to a pile of bananas left in the middle of the forest? Let's find out. The store was happy that I bought their old bananas. So we've got a variety here. We've got green ones, nice middle ripe yellow ones, starting to get a little brown. One of the things I'm not sure about is will they eat the skins? So I'm going to peel some and we'll leave a pile of pure raw banana there. And voila, peeled bananas, unpeeled bananas of varying ripeness and the banana peels, trail cameras, set up. We'll leave this for a couple of days, come back, see what happened. So after several days, nothing came to eat the bananas, except the flies, of course. But you see how they're deteriorating. No animals were interested at first. This shocked the heck out of me. I left them out there for like four or five days and just nothing came along. You can see, even see the squirrel there just ignoring them, which is interesting, as you'll see later. So I decided to go to plan B and put out some apples. So I'm going to see what happens if we leave a big pile of apples in the middle of the forest. So after I put the apples out, everything changed. And you can see how the banana piles scattered there. Now a lot of them did just like decay but a lot of the newer ones took longer to decay and I think what happened is something came along and ate several of them kind of scattered them and the trail cameras must not have captured it. that's actually normal tra trail cameras are kind of glitchy but now you see the squirrels are interested in the bananas and he takes a piece and they're actually ignoring the apples now and feasting on the bananas and this puzzled me but I have a theory look at the little dude he's just chop chowing down I have a theory that maybe since it's a new fruit that squirrels aren't accustomed to eating or any of the animals in this area aren't accustomed to eating, they smell it like this little groundhog here, but they don't know what exactly it is, so they ignore it at first. They don't even know that it's something good to eat. They don't come for it, but they came for the apples. That's something familiar. And you can see he takes a little bite of apple right here. And then he climbs in the pile, and you'd think he'd just start feasting on all the apples, but instead he goes for the bananas. So what the heck? Why would they ignore this big, beautiful pile of bananas for days, and then start eating them? Like, did they acquire a taste for them or something like that? So the apples drew them in, because that's something that they're familiar with but then they decide to sample the bananas and they like those more than the apples. I, I don't know, that's the only explanation I could come up with. Basically, they just acquired a taste for them. That's what I'm guessing. By the way, this is the first time I've ever filmed a rock chuck or a groundhog, depending on where you're from, on my trail cameras. And you can even see right here with this squirrel, he's excited, but he searches for bananas. Doesn't go for the apples. I think he's acquired <laughs> a taste for the bananas. And then finally right here, one of them goes over and starts nibbling an, on an apple. But the one on the right keeps searching for bananas and uh, finds one that must have been pretty green when I put it out because it's still good. You can see him peeling it right there. This is kind of cool right here. I have three squirrels and a bird all in one shot. That doesn't happen very often. And look, this guy stacks the banana on top of the apples and starts eating it. So I guess they really did just acquire a taste for the bananas and prefer those over the apples. Isn't that how it always is? We always want what we don't have. Even that little one in the back there, nibbling on a piece of banana. And finally, a raccoon finds the fruit pile. This is very surprising to me because normally raccoons are the first ones to always find food when I put it out, uh, usually within a few hours. So the fact that it was out there for several days before they found it is shocking. Um, but I do have a theory on that. Number one, you know, they smell bananas in the air and maybe they don't come running because they don't recognize it. Well, he's carefully eating the apples here. So when they smelled apples, that was something recognizable. You know, this is all guessing. I'm not a scientist or anything like that. But guessing that that's, that's 
why <laughs> there was no, there was no raccoon action. I love his friend staring at him from the back there. The animals do take turns a lot of times at these piles. Even if it's the same one, they will uh, watch each other. And as soon as one leaves, yeah, he knows he's being watched. As soon as one leaves, then the other one will come. And check it out. It's another raccoon, but it looks way different. It's way lighter in color. Kind of a cool looking one, I think. In fact, I'll show a little split screen here. You can see the difference between them. One is way lighter than the other. That was the one previously on the right there. And then a couple of rac baby raccoons come and start chowing down. Now these aren't quite maybe babies. I never saw their mother with them. Uh, I've seen baby raccoons on my trail cameras before and they've always had their mother with them. These are more like just juveniles. They've grown up a bit. Uh, kind of their, their teenage raccoons, so to speak. All four paws on the apple there. Those apples must be pretty hard or their teeth are a little underdeveloped because they, uh, they struggled taking a big bite out of these apples. As you can see, they had to use all four paws on them. They're kind of cute though. What a feast for them, you know, for their size and all this food laying around. This is way different than what they get uh, when they jump in my trash cans too. And then in the morning, a beautiful deer found it. They look kind of spooky though in the morning light, the trail camera, um, I don't know, just the way it looks, I think <laughs> it makes their eyes look kind of creepy. But she got to enjoy some, and I think it's interesting that as soon as I put the apples out, the deer came, but they did not come for the bananas. That is so cool. I love watching them. I love the light little hoof hoof scratch on the cheek there. I love how deer nibble. They never nibble so delicately, whatever they're eating. Unlike raccoons and, and bears and other things that open wide and chow down, and squirrels just carry off <laughs> apples like that. Deer break it up into small little bites and chew very thoroughly. So I came to check the fruit pile to see what had happened and I did bring a few extra bananas with me because I could see they were starting to eat on it. So I just thought I would scatter a few around just to give them a little something extra there. And I didn't peel any of them or anything. And immediately a squirrel comes over and will he go for the apples or the bananas? And he goes straight for the banana again. He's like, mm, I love this exotic fruit. This is amazing. I can get apples anytime. Look at the bird behind him. That's pretty cool. This is so fun to watch. Look at the cardinal. One of these days I'm going to get like an animal fight. But so far they seem to all get along. They kind of respect each other's spaces or they'll take turns. They kind of know what order they're in in general. And in fact, you'll see in a second, uh, surprise me what order things were in. So here comes another uh, rock chuck, groundhog, whatever you want to call it. There are a lot of names for these <laughs> critters. And uh, he dominates the pile there and the squirrel's looking at him. And the squirrel wants at the food pile, but he's not going to charge in there. Apparently rock chucks are more fearsome than they look. You'll see it uh, a little bit later on. Um, but the squirrel kind of circles around and decides a more cautious approach is better. And then this was so cool. I knew deer had to come if I left out apples. They love apples, they love corn.
every time I put the cameras out, there's it always captures something new and cool. And one of the unexpected things that keeps recurring in all this footage is that the animals take turn at the food pile. That is so surprising to me. So you see here the mom and the babies moving off, and that's because there's another deer that's coming. And now she's going to have her turn. The deer are very polite, very polite animals there. And one thing I did observe is that the deer did not like the bananas, but they ate the apples. Except for the one baby that ate a little bit of the banana skin. I don't know if you guys caught that. They ate exclusively the apples. <laughs> and I love here the squirrel. He thought about it. I don't know if the, the deer gave him a look or it made a sound or something. <laughs> he got out of there in a hurry. And then the deer spooks. So not sure uh, what they heard there. But after the deer leaves, then the squirrel comes back. Has the pile all to himself. So this was funny to see. As the food pile gets smaller, the animals are less willing to take turns and there's more snatching going on, more uh, stealing while the other one is on the pile. You see, check out the stare down of that one squirrel. Well, I, I just want to take one to go, man. Then this happened and this was crazy to me. So I kind of thought a raccoon would just bully a rock chuck any day of the week. But look at the respect the raccoon has. He's like, oh, can I can I slip in there and uh, and maybe just just take one one banana? He's he's straight up scared. And look at that, the rock chuck turns around and the raccoon runs away. I was not expecting that. I mean I got a little bit more respect for the rock chuck. I mean, if he's willing to take on a raccoon, they must be more gangster than they look. They look kind of lovable and fuzzy. I mean, he's eating a banana for heaven's sakes. And then you see here three left and the squirrel's like, you know what? I'm just going to take this one to go. And then the next morning, two bananas left and the rock chuck gets the rest. So this is really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, let me know what you want to see next put out in the woods.